am Colleen Rifa, certified nurse midwife in the OBGYN department at Reliant Medical Group in Worcester Medical Center. I'm one of eight certified nurse midwives within our group. We take care of patients here in the office and take care of women at the hospital. Of note, there are over 11,000 certified nurse midwives in the USA today who deliver about 12%, who do about 12% of vaginal births in the US. What is a midwife and what um, do we do? A certified nurse midwife is an advanced practice nurse who takes care of women. Midwife, actually, the term midwife means with women. Um, and what we do, we are a, a certified nurse midwife provides general women's care throughout the lifespan from puberty through menopause and beyond. We do annual visits, pelvic exams, pap smears, breast exams, um, birth control management, um, birth control pills, IUDs, Nexplanons. Uh, we manage um, female issues such as um, infections, menopause management. We prescribe medications. Um, we um, are licensed by the state, the federal, and the drug enforcement agencies. We also provide all aspects um, of pregnancy care, pregnancy, prenatal, labor, delivery, and postpartum care. We also assist um, our doctors, our OBGYN doctors here with C-sections. Midwives listen to women. We recognize that birth is a natural process. We provide evidence-based personalized care. We empower, advocate, and respect women to be partners in their care. We collaborate, consult, and refer when necessary with our reliant OBGYN physicians. A few topics that I'd like to talk about that come up in um, early pregnancy. Nutrition. We usually recommend that women eat very healthy during their pregnancy, that they drink plenty of water, that they eat protein, fresh fruits and vegetables, dairy products, whole grains, um, take their prenatal vitamins. We recommend a total weight gain between 25 and 35 pounds. Overall, just eating healthy is very important in pregnancy. Another topic that often comes up in pregnancy is nausea and vomiting. Um, this can be caused by the hormones of pregnancy and early pregnancy. Um, recommendation for nausea and vomiting, small frequent meals, small amounts of fluids when drinking, um, bland foods such as rice and crackers, noodles, broths, um, no spicy foods, no hot foods. Um, we also recommend um, acupressure or C bands, ginger, ginger ale, ginger cookies or ginger candy. Ginger can help as well. And then some women um, need medications. And if you need medications, we might start with something like vitamin B6 and Unisom, or possibly go up to a, a medication for nausea and vomiting, as reg a medication such as Reglan or Zofran. And midwives also promote non-interventional, normal, natural labor and natural childbirth. We help by recommending and suggesting a few things when a woman starts to go into early labor. One of the main recommendations that we do, especially with first babies, we don't usually recommend this with second, third, or fourth babies, but with first babies, we recommend that women remain in the comfort of their own home. If they can watch a movie, eat, drink, walk around, rock in a rocking chair, take a walk in their neighborhood, all those sorts of things in the beginning of labor are very helpful. Then when it is time for them to come in the hospital, and that's after having some phone contact with us, we recommend um, and consider doing intermittent monitoring, um, have them upright, mobile, ambulating, taking a walk out in the shower, taking a shower, being on the birthing ball, rocking in the rocking chair. 
Another important um, factor is human presence, having somebody there with the patient, human contact, um, the nurse, the midwife, their partner, um, family member, doula, um, touch, massage, those are all very helpful in labor. Patience with the labor process, it's very important to be patient with the process, especially with first baby. Um, and at the end of labor, when it's getting time to have the baby, passive descent, allowing the baby to labor down on its own. Push with urge, pushing when, when mom has the urge to push. Um, a gentle birth, the best position for the patient to, to push in, whether it's on her side, um, with her, you know, her back up. Um, some patients like to push, you know, in a, in a squatting position perhaps. Um, and some patients actually have worked with a few patients that have, have, have birth standing up. Um, so a gentle birth. Delayed cord clamping. Delayed cord clamping after the baby is born to let the, the blood go from the placenta into the baby um, is, is helpful at times. Skin-to-skin -skin contact um, immediately between mom and the newborn and breastfeeding, very importantly, um, help, helping assist with breastfeeding at the end. So if you're interested in seeing a midwife with Reliant Medical Group, we would love to see you. Please contact us here, one of the midwives or the midwife group at Reliant. Thank you.